bwana hili ni lombi na moyo wako mambo wako wako uende nami siku zote za maisha yako siwezi kamwe oh hallelujah nafsi yangu yako ne akiu mwili wangu na shauku nawe kwa utele ujae Let's go. 
Her name is Mary Joseph, and she joins us here live in studio. Karibu sana. Asante sana. Great to have you. Beautiful worship music right there. Thank you. I Tell us a going. bit about uh, your journey, even as a worshiper. All right. Uh, I thank God, first of all, for this far. Mm -hmm. Everything I attributed to God holding my life and his hand being upon my life and his grace being at work in my life. Mm -hmm. Uh, definitely, uh, it has not been that easy, but I thank God because it has been easy with God and because His grace has carried me through mm. from composition uh, and also recording and even this far, the further the songs have reached out to the ears, they have reached out. Mm -hmm. I give God all the glory because uh, and every, everything is all about uh, the relationship and the revelation that you have with God and uh, what God deposits in your spirit. That is exactly what... I, I have let out mm. through the song, and at least we worship together through the words that God has deposited in my spirit. Mm -hmm. I would say the journey is not that long, but so far so good. I thank God for everything, and I give God all the glory for this far and the far that the songs has reached out to people. Amen. Yeah. When did you start this journey? You say it's not been too long. Yeah, it's not uh, that long. <laughs> <laughs> when did you start? Yeah, it, is, uh, it was in 2020. Okay. Uh, September. That was my. I released my first song called Hakuna Likushindalo. Wow. And then December, Hallelujah. And then uh, March, Mwanzilishi. Then August, Uwepo Wako. Okay. Then uh, January, Nikiku uh, Yosongwa Magegania. Then coming to now July, Nashangilia. Wow. Yes. So you released your first song smack in the middle of COVID. <laughs> exactly. Did it have anything to do with COVID or was this something you were already planning on doing? Uh, not uh, not really it was uh, i was going through some few stuff and i was praying i was uh, meditating and really praying and i told god i have not known you as a god who of impossibilities i have never recorded i don't have a record of you being defeated mm -hmm. and so there is no single situation you're not able to turn down or even to to ease and there is no mountain you're not able to to bring down there is no there is nothing that you're not able to do. I have known you as a powerful God, a God who is able. And so even this one, you are able to do it. And I've seen God all through. It Amen. was a prayer in me. And I was telling God, I know you so confidently that I know you. Who are Shindui? Mm. And that is when the song came out. Hakuna likushindalo. There is hakuna jambo hawezi fanya, hakuna hali hawezi badilisha, hakuna mlima hawezi angusha. Yeah. Mm. Yes. I mean, I've just met Mary Joseph today, but I, I think certainly I could already attest that it's so evident that the love of God is bursting out from you. Absolutely. <laughs> and let me and that's, tell you that's fantastic. Uh, when, uh, the, the producer, and it was Jay Menge, when uh, se, uh, the video producer, Alin mm Tumia -hmm. Zako, and I was listening to your songs, and I was like, uh, and this, this woman of God is really powerful. Wow, glory Even to these God. songs, okay, this kia to me, mm -hmm. they're very deep. Mm -hmm. and, um, and we say this is an opportunity just for a platform for people like you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, to where they could do, you know, sometimes, yeah. maybe watching this personally, yeah. I, I look forward to listening to that. You know, Nikki Pato Yimbo powerful yeah. sound and Ataka mm -hmm. Kujua, mm -hmm. how was it birthed? Mm -hmm. uh, Ninini, you can share with us. Let, yeah. t t let us know. Um, you can share with us maybe even your songs. Zinakuwa birth from what point of uh, your life? Ama, what is that process like? Okay. Uh, let me surprise you. All my songs, I'm always praying. And when I'm through with praying, a song, just a tune mm -hmm. comes and I just singing and I'm like, oh, it's a song. I take a pen, I start writing what now I'm, uh, what is in my spirit. I start writing down. It might be a simple chorus. Yeah. I just start writing down and I'm like, oh, hi, it's a song. And I just keep on worshiping now from prayer. I keep on worshiping the song. I keep on worshiping. It was to be a song. Wow. It is, it becomes so powerful in me until the next destination will be in the studio. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> I notice yes. you're you are true like Mubiri because yeah. I'm seeing her spot is just moving, moving, moving. Yeah. <laughs> Before long you're going to be in front of this camera. Let me just ask you to position yourself once again. <laughs> you can move a step back. All right. Yeah. Just a step half or so. Then you face a... this way. All right. Kuone vizuri umehara sana. Lazima tu kuone sawa. Kuone vizuri ukee vizuri. Lazima tu kuone sawa. Nikuwa naona before long she be in front of this camera. I love it though. <laughs> but it's a passion with it. Yeah. <laughs> Make sure I don't move at all. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. Um, <laughs>
Are That's you, how you can imagine. Yeah. Your pastor. Your pastor, right? I'm a pastor's wife. Yeah, pastor's wife. Yeah, oh, okay, okay, pastor's wife. Okay, so, I practice kwa nyumba ugio. Guy, ni siko in trouble. <laughs> but um, I, I, I want to go back to what you were saying then about even just kind of from the place of worshiping and spending time with God is yeah. where your songs have come from, is where your songs have been birthed from. And um, even earlier we were talking about worship and how it really requires that intimacy with God. And perhaps there are people out there who, I, I guess you've written all your music then, yeah. but there are some who maybe they have the gift of singing, God has yeah. blessed them with a good voice, yeah. but they struggle with you know, songwriting. Um, and not that there's anything wrong with songwriters, but maybe perhaps it is their own desire to be able to write mm -hmm. their own music and mm -hmm. to be able to receive revelation from mm -hmm. the word of God. Mm -hmm. How would you advise someone like that to, to, to get started then? Uh, first of all, when you are into prayer, the next thing you'll have the urge to read the word of God. Even when you read the word of God, you'll have the urge again to pray because as per what you have read in the word of God, it will propel you into prayer. Either asking God to help you to do as per what the word of God has told you, mm -hmm. or else it's an encouragement. Well, oh, thank you, Jesus. I needed this for the day. Or even if it's a challenge, it's a challenging word in you. Wow, I need this for the next uh, for the next week. And through that, you might find you might find yourself even writing a song out of what you've gotten from the word of God, or even born out of prayer. Maybe you are praying uh, about something. Maybe you're going through something, and it's not even a must. You'd be going through something. You might be just a fellowship with the Holy Spirit, and in the process, you are like. You are just good God. And a song comes, God, you are good. As simple as that. But there are others still who are good at uh, composing, just be, uh, a pen and a paper, writing down a whole song, maybe two stanzas and a chorus, and then they start maybe thinking of a tune. There are those who do that at the same time. Everybody of us have their different ways of how they compose their songs. Mm -hmm. There's a composing and then a tune. There is a tune and then writing down. And then there is maybe there's somebody else who can just wake up and hear a song and just, just go to the studio and start singing. There's a, it's so diverse how we, we, by the time the song is out, I think everybody of us, every artist will have a different version of how the song came out. But sure. for me, I would say it is a tune first and then I go right down. Yeah. But there, I know there's somebody who writes down and then a tune. Right. Yeah, we are different. But it sounds like the key point, though, is being in fellowship with God Kabisa. and with the Holy Spirit. You cannot sing about somebody you are not sure of and you don't know about. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You must be knowing this Jesus for you to talk about him and for you to sing to him or even about him. Mm -hmm. You must be understanding and having the knowledge of Christ in you or even what he has done, if you're talking about what he has done, for you to be able to write down or even speak about somebody. I cannot speak about Joyce if I don't know about Joyce right. Omondi. Mm -hmm. yeah. I have to be knowing Joyce Omondi, why he got, who is she? I have now when I'm talking about you, I'll know. I'll, I'll talk about something I already know, sure. but I cannot talk about a stranger. So yeah. if Jesus or God is a stranger to you, you cannot write or talk about him. Come on, mm. come on. Very mm. deep word right there. Very deep <laughs> word. <laughs> and yeah, hallelujah. hallelujah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, I think at this point then, as we get ready to hear the next song that mm -hmm. you have to share with mm -hmm. us this morning, mm -hmm. we'd love to know, um, of course, you have several songs out yeah. by God's yeah. grace. Mm -hmm. And uh, are there any special projects you're working on? Or what can you know the people who love and follow you mm -hmm. uh, expect from you even as you continue in your ministry journey? Already as far as music is concerned, I have a new song that is so recent, Nashangilia. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, another one coming out very soon. There's something that uh, I know for sure deep down me. The work that God started in me, that, and that is part of one song that I've done, Mwanzilishi. Okay. The one who started a good uh, thing in me will see to it, it has come to accomplish. And so, Kuimba Siachi, by God's grace, mm -hmm. I'll keep on singing. And so, a new song by another to another and another as years progresses and so long as we are in this world and of course to Taishi I had to kufi anytime soon because <laughs> yeah that is what we proclaim and uh, we, we we prophesy about our lives each day mm -hmm. and so so long as I'm still around and mm -hmm. in this world I'll mm -hmm. keep on singing for this Jesus and uh, keep on proclaiming of his good works uh, that is why I can shout, celebrate, and speak about him. Amen. Yes. Well, may the Lord continue revealing himself to you and uh, granting you the grace to translate yeah. those revelations into music and mm -hmm. into song mm -hmm. uh, to bless many, many people out here. We are so grateful that you made the time to come and that you've been a blessing to us even here on the show. Mm -hmm. And uh, before you introduce this next song, um, 
lazima utume salamu lazima usalimie pia pasta venye sasa nimemsengenya hapa kidogo upitishe salamu and you can use this camera right all right i uh, want to uh, greet my husband i uh, always say is he always likes be called man of god instead of a pastor so uh, uh, Joseph Chege, my husband, I love you very much and thank you for being my support system and thank you for being a blessing in my life. I know you're watching from Dubai. God bless you so much more and more and thank you for being a blessing in my life. I salute you, sir. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, thank you for being a blessing in my life. You are indeed a gift from God. I thank God for you. And also, uh, Jesus the Way Ministry, Ruiru, I salute you. I am saying hi to you from Citizen TV. God bless you more. Keep on serving God because he is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. Keep on serving God and to Napatana after this for the, uh, for the service today. And for those maybe who would love to fellowship with us, we are located near Zitek University. Karibuni sana, tunapenda wageni. Yeah, you will always find me there, ministering there because that is where I'm based. Amen. Yes, and to my mom and dad. Now, Penda Sana, all the way from Gatanga. God bless you so much. And and, and uh, Wazazi Wengine Pia from uh, Mununga, uh, Muranga. God bless you so much. Now, Penda Sana and all the sisters and brothers, starting with uh, my brother Jeremy, who came with me today. God bless you more. And uh, now, Penda Wengine, what? My fans, Facebook, Mary Joseph Music, YouTube, Mary Joseph Official, all of you, my fans, my friends. Now, Penda Sana, thank you for, by, uh, for being my support all this far. God bless mm -hmm. you more. Wonderful. Yes. Your husband is based in Dubai or he's visiting? No. He's there for some errands. Okay. 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 Yeah. Eish. And my kids, I'm a mother of two boys. Who are you doing errands? I'm doing errands UK, United <laughs> Kisum. Same. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Yeah. And my two boys, Emmanuel and Nedrick, I love you. My mom is love you. Thank you for being in my life. I thank God that I have you in my life. Oh, wonderful. Yes. This next song, what is it called? It is Nashangilia. Nashangilia. Ameni okoa. Uh -huh. Yes. Nashangilia Yesu. Ameni okoa. Sina hofu tena nimekombolewa. Nashangilia Yesu. Ameni okoa. Sina hofu tena nimekombolewa. Well, we look forward to hearing it. Yes. Mary Joseph, it's thank you so much. Yeah. Wonderful. Well, you're yeah. going to sing it for us right now. Yes. And I would be grateful once again for your company. Karibu All sana. Right. Thank you.